The last thing we want to do to our includes-based website now is look at the navigation. So as we navigate around, you can see that we're not highlighting the page that we're on. So when we're on the command page, we probably want to highlight the command link and so forth on captain and the home page. Now, first thing, we need to remember what our class is for doing that. And I believe it's nav something selected. So here we go, it's nav selected. So that's the class we want to use to highlight our navigation. So in header, if you remember, we put it on the element we want to highlight. So I'm going to put it here on command. Nav selected. So now you can see command is highlighted. But I'm on the home page right now. If I go to captain, command is still highlighted. If I go to command, command is highlighted. So captain and home page are not right. So this here is another look reason or another place that we could use variables. So we only want to put the nav selected variable here when we are on the command page. When we're on the captain page, we don't want it there. We want it up here. So we have these different scenarios as to where we want it to be, either on this link or on the other link. So this is a time to look at what's called an if statement in programming languages. An if statement allows us to sort of handle different situations and do things differently based on some condition, some sort of logic. So if we go back, let's look at the captain page here. On our captain page, we have two variables. We have this header class variable, and we have this other variable called header. And if we go to command, again, we have these two variables, and they're both different on both of those pages. On the index page, our header class variable is nothing, and our header is again something else. So these variables are something that's unique to each page, and we can use that in our if statement. Our if statement could then say something like, when header class is empty, highlight the home link, or when header class is captain, highlight the captain link. So this little bit of programming can help us to sort of highlight our navigation really easily. So what I'd like to do is I would like to put a PHP if statement right in this, inside these quotes here. So let's put a PHP if statement. So we're going to write if header class equals equals captain. So we have two equals here. Two equals means compare, whereas one equals means set. So in this situation right here, we're setting header class equal to captain. We're making header class captain. Where in this situation, we're comparing header class to captain. So if header class is captain, then we want to echo, what was our class? Nav selected. And I'll put my closing curly brace right there. So if header class is set to captain, then we're going to echo nav selected. Let's see if that works. So we're on the home page, and you can see none of the navigation is selected. We'll go to the command page. Nothing is selected. We go to the captain page, and look, the captain page is selected. So we are taking the header class, and we're checking to see if it's captain. And if it is, we're echoing nav selected for just that page. Let's go look at the source. So you can see here in view source that nav selected exists inside of captain. But if we go look at the command page, you can see, look, nav selected is not inside of captain. And so we can apply this to the other pages now. We're just gonna, I'm just going to copy this code, save myself some typing, and I'm going to paste it inside of command. And all we need to do is change this comparison to be command instead. So there we go. So now the command page is highlighted. The captain page is highlighted. If we go to uniforms or the home page, you can see that neither page is highlighted. So we're using an if statement here to compare what page we're on, and then we highlight that specific navigation.